So while the last episode had quite a bit of commentary in it, interspersed with some fast forward bits, this episode is mostly fast forwarding. As such, it can be a bit disorienting, maybe even nausea inducing, inducing, I should say. So if you're kind of prone to those sort of things, you might not want to watch it, but definitely give it a try anyway. Uh, it covers everything. Just wanted to let you know that before we started. Howdy folks, how are y'all doing? Cub here and welcome back to our Tech at Legends pre-show where I slowly get everything set up and ready to roll for the new series. We've got Buttercup back here and he is super excited. Have a seat Buttercup today. We're just going to be doing some building, some basic house building because I need to get a base built for us to uh, actually get our work done in. And uh, so that being said, this episode's probably not going to be as long as the last. It might take me as long to film it, but it's going to contain a lot of cuts and fast forwards and things. Let's see if we maybe have some more, uh, nope, no more chickens, unfortunately. Maybe it was because I was chunking the eggs at a solid rock wall. That might have something to do with it. But uh, here's my plan right now. Let's go ahead and clear all this out. Now, as I said in the last episode, I've never ever in my life used Railcraft for anything ever. So I don't really know a whole lot about how it works, but uh, we're going to be learning. I'm not sure if this is similar to other mods that I've used where you have pipes and things running through walls and floors. But I'm going to go ahead and make a... Uh, well, I'm going to do things differently than I've done them before. In the past when I built houses or even like cave bases, they've always been pretty similar. This time though, I'm going to be creating a basement, maybe about three blocks high, and a fake wall system running along each side of the house so that I'll have access to running cables and things, either underground or behind machines so that they're tucked away out of place. Thought that might be a good idea. Uh, <clears throat> with that said, I don't really think there's too much to talk about here. I'm just gonna go ahead and shut up. We'll cue the fast forward, and I'll go ahead and clear all of this stuff out. All right, so I've got it cleared out for the most part. Uh, I've been getting a lot of limestone and looking at the uses here, it looks like if you cook it up, maybe it might not look too bad. I'm not sure if you can actually cook it, but you can turn it into these limestone bricks. And it might work as a good flooring. So I'm gonna go ahead and collect the rest of it around here and just fill in what I take using uh, cobblestone. Well, that seems to do it, except for the ceiling, that's a bit spotty, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. 
I guess the next step is going to be I'm going to dig out that ring around the outside for the access terminal tunnel place. Yeah, let's do that. All right, there we go, got that dug out. Next up, I suppose, should be... Yeah, the basement. There's that finished. I'd like to say this is fun, but trust me, it it really isn't. Guess the next step is going to be to actually put in the flooring. And this stuff may look weird, but I kind of like it. Let's go ahead and see if we can cook it up, though, and see if that gives us, like, a, a variant of any kind. Nope. Definitely not. Are you kidding me? I thought I'd had way more of that stuff. Oh, <laughs> I do. Okay, well there's the, the basement done. Not too bad. I guess now we need to build up some walls. A part of me really wants to do this in a nice, artistic, pretty way. Another part of me feels like we really need to have this place done here soon and we can worry about pretty later so yeah I guess we're just gonna get to work on it I need to go find some sand, Buttercup. You stay- well, no, actually, you come with me. Take some steak. Come with me. Or pork, I should say. There should be some this way. Ah! Brilliant. Sand and more pork. Oh! And cows! Oh my goodness. Okay, Buttercup. We need to make the- we need to make the best out of this outing, okay? We might even get out of this with some leather- yeah, with some leather digs, which would be nice, because we've been defenseless this whole time so far. Ah, there we go. If, look, if you want to go hunting, you can, Buttercup. I won't stand in your way. Like, if you look out, 
and you think to yourself, hmm, been wanting some pig lately, just go get it. I mean, I, I don't care. Like, most people might be upset with that. I, I, I know you're a dog. I know you have instincts. Just go hunt. Or follow me around like the dutiful little pup you are. That's fine, too. Let's get all the cows. Oh, look at this. Hmm. Need to remember that for later. Right. Shovels at the ready. Let's go get that sand. All right, stack of sand ought to do it, Buttercup. Let's head back, get that cooked up in the glass, see if we can't finish this house by the end of the hour. Ugh. Finally. It took way longer than it should have. Technically, it's not done yet. I have to... One, two... Okay, there we go. Now time to fill it all in. Jeez.
All right, roof is finished. Just a few more touch-ups on the walls, like, you know, completing the walls. Let's get to that. Buttercup, I need your help real fast. Um, there's, there's something out here. Just, uh, go out there and, and take care of it. Just right out there. Oh! No, they're both here. They're here, they're here. Oh. Ah, thank you, bud. Okay, you can head back in now. That's all I needed. That's the inside done. Finally. It took a lot of effort, but here it is. Tuck away a couple of torches up here so they don't have anything spawning directly on the roof, although they can always wander down, I suppose. Well, folks, it isn't perfect, but this is it. This is the house that we've come up with. I would love to keep going, but after several hours, about three hours at this, I've actually got to go do some stuff. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Unfortunately, I think we will have to do one more pre-episode, so make this episode two of three. I'm going to uh, do a little bit of research into Railcraft and in Blue Power and all of the other mods and see if we can't go ahead and get some supplies ready so that when we kick off episode one, we'll be set to go. Let's head inside where this zombie can't get us. Hope that that guy doesn't stay irritated at us. And uh, I'll see you folks next episode. Bye!